Let's look at an example of text crawling left to right against a color background. Turn on the quick titler. Use the T icon and select the option for creating a title in the T1 track. From the right side in the background properties window, select title type, crawl from right. Let's insert a longer text we have copied earlier. It's okay if the text doesn't fit. Now let's save the title. Use the save function. Let's remove the preset effects from the title. By clicking on the lower part of the title, select the effect track and press the delete key. Let's make a visual check. When needed, the title position can be changed easily by recalling the layouter dialog window using the F7 keyboard shortcut and the title can be moved into the new position by a simple drag and drop. To change the speed of the moving text, extend the title to the desired time. Let's create a new title track where we place a red rectangle. After clicking the right mouse button above the title track header, a dialog window appears with several options. At this moment we're only interested in the add line. There are two options. Add T-Track to above or below the existing title track. Let's select the below option and confirm the addition of a single track. Let's not get confused when, in spite of the below command, the title track is displayed on the timeline above the existing T1 track. This is due to the fact that, compared to video audio tracks, title tracks have reverse priority. Let's create an independent, new rectangle in the new track. Launch Quick Titler and create a T1 level title. From the right side in the background properties window, select title type still. Let's create a blue rectangle. With a double click, apply blue color with no outline from the style table. Erase the standard preset effect, adjust the length and run the final check.